Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Receiver. Receiver is a game of many interesting things, but before I get to it, I'm gonna uh, say that this is gonna be... This Let's Play is gonna be updated uh, in the same way as Terraria or any other sort of short-term sort of updated Let's Plays I had. Uh, I'm moving towards this game for the time being, uh, where I can just invest a very short time into recording, about 20 or 30 minutes, uh, for obvious reasons. If the reasons are not obvious to you, feel free to watch my 2000 uh, subscriber special. Now, the receiver. Receiver is a roguelike, a 3D roguelike that was created uh, at the 7 day uh, FPS challenge by the same studio that is working on Overgrowth. Uh, I think they're called Wolf Studios. I'm not actually really all that sure. I'm gonna include the link in the description. Now Receiver is a very simple survival game in which you are walking through... Uh, it's not procedurally generated. It's generated in huge chunks. A uh, world that looks like this. All of uh, these are randomly generated but they are generated in a huge blocks. Now your goal is simple, you need to survive and if you look in the upper right corner I cannot actually uh, point there as I don't have uh, the mouse control in this one or the mouse cursor to be uh, precise. You see that I have collected zero tapes. Uh, receivers are guys with some special powers, the game story is sort of uh, not very descriptive about this. And you are uncovering the story of the receiver as you collect these tapes. There's 11 of them. Uh, the best I did was collect 5 of them. The game is extremely hard because the only thing that you have is this. A gun. There are 3 guns in the game. There's Smith & Wesson, a uh, Victory 10 model. Uh, there's the Glock 17 and there's the 1911. Now, some of you might not know this, I'm a huge fan of weapons, and this game is all about weapon management. You have a very limited amount of bullets, you have to be really sneaky, and you die very often. The game is also very uh, unforgiving, and sometimes you, are, you just spawn and you immediately die. You never respawn, you always start uh, in a random uh, place, like so, like this one and sometimes you are under attack. There are two types of enemies which we will encounter. There's the flying thingies, uh, which reminds me of uh, old school ventilation uh, thingies. I, I don't really know how, how to explain it. They have a small uh, rotor which, which flies them around and they have blades which they will try to kill you with. The second thing is a turret. turret uh, is stationary but a bit tougher and has a very huge cadency so we'll see these around now when I said that this game is all about your gun you have no health you have nothing the only thing you have is um, your gun and the bullets in it and for this one we also got uh, the flashlight which is good sometimes you start without the flashlight so let's see how we're doing when you press uh, question mark you can see that there's a lot of possibilities you can do with your gun uh, there's the menu up there let's see how we're doing with the ammo so we have three bullets in our revolver revolver is as the least uh, amount of bullets in it obviously and has no extra as far as I know it has no extra uh, magazines or these these things what are they called uh, cylinders it has it has no extra cylinders I never found any uh, but on the other hand one shot is usually all you need so let's put in some more bullets uh, close the cylinder roll the cylinder and we are ready it's a bit more tricky with uh, weapons with the Glock or a 1911, but you'll see that very soon, I'm pretty sure. And here we go, we are on our hunt. Oh, there's a turret. Do you see? It has a motion detector or a camera, which uh, 
when it spots you, it locks on you, and you have about a second or two to uh, get away, or it starts shooting. And when it starts shooting, you are usually fucked. The whole game has a huge system shock feeling to it. Uh, I'm a huge system shock fan. Oh crap, that was not at all what I wanted to do. And we died! <laughs> so now you see how easy it is to die. And we still have the revolver. We have been giving the same weapon. Uh, and still have a flashlight. So let's see how we're doing. We have two bullets in our cylinder. Uh, so let's reload. And we got him with it. The falling damage is pretty brutal. The, the entire game is pretty brutal. You get one shot and that's it. So you have to be careful. I know that I didn't demonstrate that really a lot in the initial gameplay. But that happens a lot. Sometimes you're... I, there was a situation when I had no flashlight, a revolver and one bullet. And that's all the game gives you. And at that point it's fun to struggle. But you don't usually struggle for long time. Okay, there seems to be no enemies here. We are constantly looking for bullets. Um, no, that's just a shadow. Because once we run out of ammo, we run out of life. Okay, there seems to be nothing here of interest. The bullets are highlighted for you. See any enemies here either, which is good. How many do we have? Six. So we have two two full cylinders. Means we have about five or six enemies that we can take down. As I mentioned, the game really doesn't give a fuck if you are ready or not. It just <laughs> you can enter a room full of turrets, there's like six or seven of them. Oh hey, bullets! Okay, now we have more. We get three more shots. Oh, there's the flying thingy. Come on, you bastard. With a revolver you can one-shot them. Come at me, come at me. really close now. Can you see it? Oh fuck! <laughs> well that's that. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't work out no matter what you do. Uh, as you probably noticed I'm not all that good in this game. I haven't been playing it for a long time. I played it a lot before the update that's in the summer when I was in Turkey and since then I haven't given it much. Now this is um, uh, this is the 1911, the initial weapon in the game. We have two magazines, uh, so let's see if we don't have a bullet in the chamber. So what we need to do is check out how many... We have one spare bullet, that's not good at all. So let's unload this. Okay, we have uh, one full magazine, which should be eight rounds, I believe, in this uh, version of the uh, 1911. And we have three extra bullets. I'm gonna put them in there just in case. I'm not a huge fan of the revolver, by the way. You probably cannot get around in the chamber. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. So we have a round in chamber. Um, come on, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, now we have an extra bullet in chamber, and we have. Yeah, it's dark. Can you see it? And we're ready. And you'll notice that we don't have the flashlight this time. Damn, it's really hard to concentrate when you're recording. Lately I have taken the habit of avoiding enemies when it's not absolutely necessary to encounter them because and it kind of prolonged my life. Ok, 
Okay, always point your gun to where you're looking. Yeah, this is a murder spot. Yeah, there's a turret right there. I don't really like this place, so let's go the other way. You, can, you run faster and faster. You actually run by tapping the W. And the faster you tap it, the faster you run, which is a really good idea, but you can only run if you don't have your weapon aimed, which is quite logical. The whole game is a bad dream of people who were born into the world of uh, Battlefield 3 and stuff, which is, you know, your gun. There's actually, you know, there's other options you can do too, which I don't use at all, like the safety. Now I can shoot. They they did a great job of uh, making this as realistic as possible. Realistic as possible. Okay, let's stay hidden. There seems to be no enemies here. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, nothing. These empty holes really remind me of System Shock. Dead graphics, man, dead graphics. Okay, that's the opposite of murder hole. Is this the other direction? Yeah, it seems so. so we don't seem to have other option to walk up. The graphics are really cool, but they do a good job of really putting you in your place. Okay, there's nothing here, and there's nothing out there. So check out the other direction. I'm qu quite sad that... Is that a turret? Yeah, it's a turret. Is it moving? I don't seem to be moving. Damn, I would kill for a flashlight. I have no idea how dark this is for you guys. It's really dark for me, though. See the light? How it... It's pretty cool for simple graphics like this. Nothing in here. Okay, this was a total waste, no bullets, nothing, not even a goddamn flashlight. Okay, there's a turret in there. Is there one up here? Seems to be another flat up here. Yeah, there's a turret in there. Can it see me? No, it doesn't seem to be able to see me this way. And I'm actually not sure if I can shoot through this. No, I can't. Oh. There's my... There's my answer. What the hell? Sneak past it. Oh fuck! That was such a waste! <laughs> My god, man. I can't play like this if I wanna survive. How many do we have? Well, three. If this was a waste, then I'm pretty much fucked. I found out I could pass. And I didn't even kill it! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Okay, we got another 1911. 
Man, I probably just disabled. You, you can damage the enemies in a couple of ways. Like you can disable their uh, batteries, so they're dead. You can disable uh, their sensor and stuff. But obviously, I didn't do a good job uh, disabling that one. So let's see. We have three magazines. Uh, uh, I didn't want to chamber around. Unchambered around. Come on. CDs. This one is almost full. Hey, we're, we're good on bullets this time. Yeah, this we, now we don't have a round. So it's chamber one. Now we have a bullet in it. And we're gonna put in the extra one. Let's untoggle the safety and we're ready to go. Any mini mini mo. I know it's not. What the fuck? Hey, holy shit, where is he? Hey, there's a tape! Where the fuck is that bastard? I heard him beep. See, like the game already nearly killed me. If I didn't hear that beep, it would probably swarm at me. It seems like there's the, a turret there. A bullet on tape. If you recently started receiving, you may wonder why the training tapes are so important. Over the last several decades, your media has been slowly corrupted to be used against you. By feeding your mind a constant stream of damaging ideas, your view of reality has been warped to fit into a sinister agenda. How can one tape Listen to once, possibly have an impact on the face of a lifetime of accumulated deception. It can only have the smallest effect, but even that small effect can be built one. on. If you listen to that tape 100 times, you may notice a difference in how you feel. If you listen to the tape a thousand times, you will be transformed. And if you listen to the tape a million times, you will become more than human, an awake receiver. Whoa. Listen to as many tapes as you can, Listen to them as often as you can. Okay, so now you heard the first tape. The tapes are pretty good and I like the voice acting on them. It seems a bit too cold, but it fits the overall uh, atmosphere of the world. So there's another bullet and another tape. Your minds have been spied on. The rules of our world don't apply to yours, and so the threat have made a careful study of listening to your thoughts. The kill drones are the result of this research. When confronting a kill drone, be mindful of their weak points. The main systems that can be damaged are the camera, weapon, motor, and batteries. On a kill drone turret, the batteries and motor are in the body of the weapon. The motor is directly under the turret and the batteries behind that, near the rear of the body enclosure. Targeting specific weak points will make sure every bullet counts. Yeah, I usually try to target uh, the batteries. That works the best for me, but sometimes I just... You know, don't have to... Oh fuck, there's one. See that brown or orange thing behind his battery, so let's try to freaking disable it from here. Okay, now I did it. But that was kind of lame and took a lot of time. Let's hope there's something down there for us. And I don't mean another turret. Uh, the 1911 is a bit stronger than the Glock, but has less bullets in it. And the 1911 uh, doesn't have a auto, auto mode. The Glock... Oh, yes! Okay, at least some bullets. Four of them. Seems like an even trade. Oh, shit, I hate these places. They're murder zone. Fuck, 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 someone! Yeah, and there's a flying bastard in there. It's 
above the thingy. Come here, fucker, I'm not afraid. No, I'm lying, I am. It's right here. Let's put it on auto aim. I don't want to dig around. There's the camera. I disabled the uh, engine. Um, let's put in more bullets. Because if you run out mid-fight, the best thing you can do is this. You know, reload, but not the empty magazine. <laughs> so this is what you would do. That's the fastest way in which you can. continue fighting but you know it really never works out for me that well okay any other this thing the game is really oh another tape we got a third one the game is really tricky with the space it makes a lot of open areas where you can really be targeted from all directions so you have to be sneaky you are listening to the first tape of the perpetual set this set of tapes represents the most critical receivings so that future humans will have the information they will need after the mind kill. This set, when listened to sufficiently and in its entirety, has been speculated to be the minimum teachings needed to achieve an awake state. Besides this tape, the tapes included in this set are Firearm Operation Initiation Tape A Mind Tech Reality B Mind Tech Clear Tape Mind Kill Contingency Fuck. Kill Drones Repeated Listenings The Clear Tape Awake I'm having a real bad time targeting the turrets. Usually I manage to hit them on the first spot, but I'm, you know, while I'm recording, I'm psyched that they're gonna unload all of their things at me. And there are some bullets there. And there's a thread in there. Yeah, it can spot me. And there's another one in the corner. And there's a flying fuck coming right at me. I saw it wiggle its tail. You know, in some situations that would be considered extremely poor, but at this point we already have free tapes, it's pretty good. The games are not long, not for me anyways. I tend to die a lot, because I don't, I just don't seem to pay enough attention. Oh yeah! Alpha. For the win. Mm. Okay, we got two extras and two full magazines and fuck. Yeah, sometimes the chamber control doesn't work. But at least I know I have a chambered bullet. Okay, anything interesting in here? This is too good to be true. Okay, there is a place to go here. Oh hell no! I hate the rooftops! I always die on the rooftop. Let me guess, there's a turret right behind this corner. No, there isn't. So it will be behind the end of the one. Last time I played it and I went to on a rooftop, I got swarmed by... I had a fully 
loaded guac and there were like six of those flying things coming right at me. I unloaded the... This is how you do it. One shot, one kill. The game is sometimes a little buggy. Like once I had a gun jammed and I did a huge search to find out if that is even possible. And what I found out is that it's not possible. The guns cannot jam. So the game pretty much fucked me over. Have I been here? I feel like I'm walking in circles. No, I'm not. There's one. Die, you bastard! How is he not dead yet? Hear that sound? I think it's pretty much fucked. I can't see him anywhere. Damn, man, that was such a waste. You know what? I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put this one here. And he's there somewhere. I don't know if he's even a threat. I think I unloaded six or seven bullets in him. I can't see him. I can hear him though. Come on, a kill shot. Fucking bastard! There's gotta be a treasure here. No, there's nothing! You fucking dick! And I don't have anything extra. Okay, well. This escalated quickly. We are down to one magazine. I have to be that that was such a waste. Oh thank god, a bullet. Please, please give me more of the delicious bullets. No, these are empty rounds. I think I'm coming back to where I actually was. I just went up and then went down, didn't I? Yeah. That was the turret. So let's go the other way. But I'm doing good. I have three tapes. And I'm still alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I've been here. There's the dead turret. Okay, but I haven't been here, was I? Nope. Can you see him? Ah! Well, so that was the first part of the receiver. I'm going to bed. And this time we got a revolver. I didn't have a chance to show you guys uh, the guac, but maybe next time. I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know what you think. I will try to play this a bit more because I obviously ran out of... Yeah, let's just do a suicide run on this turret.
Come on, unload. Wait, how do you unload it? Uh, oh yeah, that's V. So yeah, uh, as I said before, I hope you enjoyed the three or four uh, runs that we had, and uh, I'm gonna have some more later on. Till then, all the best for me, Alpha P Omega. <laughs>